Alleluia. See, this, this gospel is propelling us into the season of Advent. It's got a very Advent character, and we call it the second coming. Advent prepares us for the second coming of Christ. Now, to be sure, this gospel is very confusing. Who's going to be taken? Who's left? What does it mean that he's coming? What is this rapture thing all about? And there's a couple of different ways we can read this passage and internalize it within our hearts. See, there's one way is this confusion, which then makes us anxious about his second coming and really not looking forward to the coming of Christ. See, well, I don't know if I'm going to be ready for that. I don't know if I'm going to be taken or if I'm going to be left. I, I don't want him to come yet because I'm not prepared. Now that's one way. Another way came to me when a friend of mine sent me these soldier come home compilation videos. See, this is when a soldier is away in a war-torn country. They've been gone for a long time and they come home to surprise their family, their little girl in kindergarten or their wife uh, back at the home. And they come in with this big grand surprise out of the car knocking on the door. And the reaction of their loved ones is universal. See, they're not, they're not upset that their loved one has come home, that the soldier has returned. They were worried that he was never going to return. So at his return, they melt. That's the reaction of a Christian to the second coming of Christ. See, we don't worry about his coming back. We, in a sense, maybe worry more about his not coming back soon enough. So when we anticipate the coming of, our, of the one we love, of our Lord, it should excite our hearts, not make us worry and anxious, but excited to see the one who brings meaning to life again.